in a team, it's important to establish who the leader is. You know, and you can usually spot him by he's the one that talks the most. You know, if it's a band, he's the one that sings. If it weren't for Cool, the gang just would have been a gang. Wandering around. Being a gang. Password do's and don'ts. And we're moving on. Actually, I was thinking we could recap before moving on. Recapping before moving on? Ted, why don't you pick a partner and uh, tell us what you've learned so far about passwords? Okay, I pick Bryce. It's not what I was going for, Ted. Okay, I pick... I think we can all attempt to guess at who Ted is going to pick. You know, we've all seen office romances and romantic comedies. Seems like good, hilarious fun, right? And hitting on a coworker is like wrong. It's bad. It's bad business. I did not know who I was going to. June, do you want to? Sure, Ted. I'd love to. Okay. Ted and June. Sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Okay. We should start. All right. Maybe as assistant manager, I should start it off. Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to start. Whatever's fine. Okay. All right. You, I'll start. Right. You start. Ladies first. Really? Does. Okay. Yeah. You want to start? Oh, please. One of you just start. Get on with it. Take turns or something. I'll start then. Uh, okay. Never share your password and never let anybody watch you type in your password. Thank you, June. Uh, never use random words from the dictionary as your password. Even if it's a combo. Uh, never use your login password from other accounts, such as Yahoo or Amazon. Or eBay. Yep. It's popular. I got this on eBay. Lionel Richie's official concert tour, 88. Signed by Bon Jovi. Always use strong passwords that comply with company security policy. And remember to use a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols in your passwords. Uh, you should change your password frequently. If you suspect it's been compromised, then change it immediately. Or call the Pentagon. Um, be skeptical when somebody requires urgent access to your computer system or passwords, even if it's your coworker, even if it's someone like Ted. <laughs> Watch out for Ted. He's crazy. You should store your password in a safe location if you have to write it down. And I think that's it. That, yeah, that's it. We're done. Stick a fork in it. Kissing. Yeah, that is what you were spelling. It was spelling game. Ted and June kissing K I. We weren't. We weren't actually kissing. I would never kiss. Well, not never. I just, you know, we're friends. Right? We're coworkers, professionals. Okay. Uh, let's thank Ted and June for that. Right. Now, who here has to change their password? Great. Let's take a short break, and uh, then we'll continue from there. All right. Uh, continuing after we change passwords. Everyone. Imagine if Merton Riggs from Lethal Weapon had an office romance. You know, one of them would have said, I'm too old for this And the other one would have been like, oh, no, you're not. And then they would have hugged and talked for hours which would have led to this whole conversation about why they haven't committed yet. You know what would have happened? Those smuggling diplomats would have got away with it. Sleep Weapon 2. And that is why office romances are never a good idea. This one's my favorite. The Cheers original shooting script, signed by the entire cast. Also, 
guy named Dave. I think he got fired or something. 